Here we have the American Flyer K5363W Silver Rocket 8 Unit Freight Train. It was made in 1953 by Gilbert and uh, just only in that year. The following year a similar set was made but contained a transformer. This year they put no transformer in the set. I put this set together uh, uh, this way to sell. Received it from uh, someone who had gotten it as an inheritance and asked me to help sell it for him. It's a great set and uh, the guy who has bought it is going to be very, very happy with it, I'm sure. Has the working remote horn in the in the, uh, the dummy unit behind the main engine, the main powered engine. The, uh, the working floodlight and the, the lit Caboose, great set. That's a 936 uh, wire reel flat car. The 913 uh, box car, 925 tank car, 941 uh, gondola, the 930 caboose. Uh, oh, I think I missed the 946 uh, uh, floodlight car in there in the middle. These Alcos are more sensitive to the track, the smoothness of the track, than uh, other American Flyer engines. It took me a lot of tweaking around to get the, the track flat enough here on the carpet for it to run right without derailing. If the, the track isn't smooth, uh, particularly the, the dummy pulling such a heavy load in the, in the train uh, will uh, will derail around the corners. Also the, the dual engine powered unit, the, the dual motor, it has two motors in the power unit, takes a lot of juice. Uh, it takes a good sized transformer to run this. I'm running it on a hundred watt right now. I usually use a 40 watt for testing, uh, which works great for most of the steam locomotives, but not for this dual motor uh, diesel. Again, the 1953 Silver Rocket Freight by American Flyer. Great set.